Welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 3. We are pretty close here. That red building over there, that's where the Shagohata is being developed. But we're going to have to go and get to this compound first. And it's going to take us a little while to get there. And it's pretty well guarded. So it's going to take us some time. But in the last episode, we just saw some stuff. Like, whoa. Stuff's really getting crazy here. Vulgan knows that there's a spy. He doesn't know that it's Ava, though. Ocelot is beginning to suspect, though. So he grabbed Granin and killed him. Beat the crap out of him, you know, all that. Basically tortured him to death. Thinking that possibly he was the spy, or maybe he was just being used by the spy, but he was definitely involved with it somehow. In a way that we weren't told or didn't understand because he had a transmitter in his foot. Somebody was keeping track of him. Somebody was keeping uh, tabs on him. Something we didn't hear about. But we do know that those shoes were given to him by Ava, pretending to be Tatiana. So obviously she... Well, we knew that she was a spy to begin with, didn't we? So those are the ones... Those, uh, that's what we're dealing with now. Of course, Ocelot just kind of suspects her, because I guess he smells her perfume. Oh, damn. These guys you gotta watch out for. These guys have flamethrowers on their back. And they will mess you up if they get near you. And, unfortunately, that's gonna happen in a few seconds. <laughs> I didn't exactly do it too good of a job of evading capture here. Okay, we're, how we're going to have to get there is we're going to have to go down into another building, but you'll see that in a second. And through an underground tunnel. See, there we go. We're pretty close. It's in this building down beneath us. That's a hell of a drop. Who's that? Yep. We got seen, I'm not sure about you. Oh, you know what? I didn't even show it. Okay, just rest assured. <laughs> if those flamethrower guys catch up to you, they're going to mess you up. And don't worry, we're going to get a chance to see flamethrowers in action in a few minutes. Hmm, grenades. Gotta love those. Oh, jeez, what are you doing? <laughs> Acting like a crazy man. All of our assault rifle ammo is full. Oh, that's good. We don't want to... What's coming up ahead, we're going to want all the ammunition we can get. Screw the stairs. Fury! The flames of my rage will incinerate you. I came back from space. As I returned, I had one vision. The world set ablaze. And do you know what I saw there?
fury! A great and terrible fury at being alive! Now, you're going to feel the scorching heat of that horrible blackness. Okay, here is our fight with the Fury. Probably the most uh, spectacular boss fight in this game, and one of the best looking things of the generation, the console generation. It's pretty freaking fantastic, although, to be honest, but nowadays when I was playing through this, it did kind of show its age. But what was so spectacular about this was the fact that there was fire everywhere, and this dude flying up and down. It, it was freaking awesome. Maybe. Now the Fury is a former cosmonaut, I guess, and he flipped his shit. He lost his mind. <laughs> I guess that's to be expected. I mean, look at the dude. He's insane. He flies around in his freaky jetpack. And while he was, I guess when he was re-entering the Earth's atmosphere, you know, you get flames all over the sides of your space caps and all that saw the world in flames, figuring, hey, that's a good idea. Why don't I set everybody on fire? You go? So that's what he's doing here. Now this one is this is one of the boss battles that'll probably kill you the first time that you try playing through it, because it's not really ob box. <laughs> it's not really obvious what you have to do. You do have to stay out of sight, but I mean, just running around trying to gun at him, you know, is going to get you killed. You have to go and get used to how he moves around, the patterns that he takes, and then to get an idea of where he's going to be, and then you come up behind him or you wait for him to round the corner and then you gun him down. Once you gun him down, he'll fall down. Let's see if we can do it here. Okay, we hit him, now we got to move. Don't stand there waiting for him to go and get back at you. See, look at that. That would have sucked if we were standing in that. Oh, see? I got caught by it anyway. Once you're on fire, roll. You know the good old stop, drop, and roll. Maybe it's just because I'm looking at it on the little screen here. I'm looking at it on a window that's about uh, four inches wide while I'm recording this commentary. But it does, it kind of looks pretty cool still. I mean, the graphics that is. I was always impressed though by the, by what this company development team was able to do with with uh, games on the technology side. Jeez, seems like he's everywhere. Uh, you can use the motion detector. I'm using the motion detector to get, get an idea where he is. It's not binoculars. There we go. Shot him down. The motion detector won't give you like an exact location of where he is because a number of other things are going to appear on there. Like mice. There are mice crawling around in the room. And every time you see a mouse, it's going to... Oh, that, that looked epic, didn't it? Dude's like running down the hallway. Things are exploding all over the place. There are, there are little animals, mice, and spiders, and crap running around, and the motion detector will pick them up, too. Now, I think the the enemy that you're looking at, trying to find, will be a brighter dot on the radar screen. But, oh, jeez, we're getting the crap to beat out of me. Okay, even though in this game you recover health ordinarily by eating food and then waiting for your life to recover, there's an item called LP Medicine. 
or something along those lines. And that will work in the fashion of the rations that you had in Metal Gear Solid and Metal Gear Solid 2. It will be an instant health recovery, but you don't want to run around using them too often because they're kind of rare. Now I'm using them here because I don't want to lose this fight. I made some stupid mistakes, got burned a bunch of times. It's certainly possible to beat this boss without getting hit once, but apparently I'm not good enough to do that. Oh, also we have glow cat mushrooms here. And it's a good thing to have those around if you're going to be using the motion detector. Because remember, it'll wear the battery down. Okay, we have fire over here, so I think that means he's going to be coming this way. Okay, he's over there. Let's, uh, let's get him. There we go. Managed to run into a fire anyway and get myself set on fire. That's pretty stupid. Where are you, you goofy bastard? Oh, jeez. Stamina runs low a lot in this fight, too. Gonna eat a scorpion in the middle of a fight. <laughs> One of the things I think is funny about the glow cat mushrooms, if you go and dial up Sigin, I think it is, in a codec conversation, or, or maybe paramedic, I'm not sure. But if you ask about the, uh, the glow cat mushroom and why it recharges your batteries, they'll act like you're insane. Like you're, and then they'll eventually just start humoring you about it. Like, oh, he's insane. He's flipped his shit. He's thinking eating the mushroom's gonna recharge his batteries. Ah, if he thinks it, go ahead, let him think it. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Well, there he is, but we're not hitting him. Burn, maybe. Ah, find the cover. Jeez, we're so close. We take him down one more time, and he's dead. But the bastard just won't show his face long enough for us to blow it off. this before I I recorded the gameplay footage before I recorded the audio and so it's by the time I'm recording this audio it's been about uh, about a month since I played the game but there he's down boss this is the end of the Cobras you've got to live on you're the only one left I'm off Join the shop. Mission Control, do you read me? I'm coming home. I see the Earth.
Do you want to save? Okay, I guess it's been about a month and a half. Snake, have you seen Dr. Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb? What? Dr. Strangelove. Have you seen it? Uh, no. It's about this insane American Air Force commander who sends a bomber out to drop an H-bomb on Russia. It's a black comedy. Doesn't sound very funny to me. The actor who plays Dr. Strangelove also plays two of the other main characters. It's actually kind of funny once you get past the scary parts. It just came out this year, so I bet you could still go and see it. Maybe when I'm in a lighter state of mind, I'll give it a try. Well, that was it. That was The Fury. That was pretty awesome, though, wasn't it? I mean, it was a little more awesome to play than to watch, I'll bet. But it was still pretty cool looking. And... Got to the end of a boss battle, got to the end of an episode. So, thanks for watching and goodbye.